This is the VR case, also known as the VR box. It's the second generation of the VR box. These are made in a Chinese factory en masse and rebranded under many different names. Overall, they're still the same product underneath. These are about the cheapest entry into the world of virtual reality that you can find. They're not going to rival an Oculus Rift or a Vive. However, that's not the intention of purchasing one of these. These are a good way of testing out VR to see whether it's something you want to do. So these ones can be easily purchased for under about $30. Like most people, I've been reading more and more about VR, seeing VR talked about in the media a lot. Found the YouTube app. There's plenty of other apps and free ways of viewing VR videos online. I decided that I want to check it out in the cheapest way possible, which is how we ended up with the VR box too, also known as the VR case. Considering this is a sub $30 product, it has a very good quality feel to it. Solid plastic. The front slides open so that your phone can be either an iPhone or Android based is able to use its camera. Turning around and having a look at the top, these are the adjusters for the lenses. So the lenses can be individually moved forward or backwards as well as side to side adjustment, all depending on how far your eyes are apart, as well as your vision and preferences. Turning over to the back, it's a very soft foam like um, touch to it, and then elastic straps so you can adjust it to suit. Some people have complained saying these are a bit uncomfortable, however, I had no problems myself, and considering the price point, I don't see that as an issue at all. One of the big differences that you have with the second generation of the VR boxes compared to the first is the ability to remove your phone. So what we'll do, we'll just take this out. This is where you can place your iPhone. So here we have a iPhone 6. Just drop in the iPhone. For the purpose of this video, we've just loaded the YouTube iOS app and we've brought up one of the YouTube VR channels. This is a 360 degree Viking battle by National Geographic. So what you want to do is firstly, you don't need the side by side or twin view. Just bring that a bit closer. Then once this begins playing, You'll see that there's the side-by-side -side images. So what we'll do, now that we've kicked that off, we're going to place this inside the VR box headset. Now that's all ready to go for you. One slight downside that we do have, because you do need to play the video and then slide the phone in, if you do have any adjustments you'd like to make while the video is playing, if you want to change the volume, if you want to pause or anything like that, you do then need to take the phone back out and then hit that play, pause or volume adjustment button. There is a Bluetooth remote that you can buy for the VR Box 2, um, which will help you with some of those features and make it a little less painless. But considering this is a VR headset, which is less than $30, quite easily in fact, and probably the cheapest on the market. It's definitely worth checking out if you're interested in learning more about VR and seeing whether it's something you're looking to invest a bit more money into for the future. This is the VR Box 2, also known as the VR Case and rebranded under many different names.